good afternoon and thanks for being with us on this Monday. I'm Brian Yukona. We have a big afternoon planned for you as we observe today's total solar eclipse. In fact, we start this noon time with Amanda Hill and Keith Carson. They are in what will be the path of totality in Holton. Could not have asked for a nicer day. Hi, guys. Could not have asked for a nicer day. It's oh, there is a cool breeze, which is why I'm still in the sweatshirt. You're handling it well. You keep going, but well, I, I'm committed to wearing this shirt. Is what's happened. But it, it is, the weather is unbelievable. We talked about for about a week. We felt like it was going to be good, and I, I describe the scene here as good, um, active, but not out of control. It's not out of control. There's yeah. plenty of space to move around, although you can tell we are getting closer to eclipse time because it is getting busier. And people are so pumped about being here. Really excited. You got two classes of people. Uh, I've never seen a, a total one. Um, mm -hmm. And so you have people like me and I think you, right? You, have you seen a full one? I have never seen a total eclipse. And yep. then you have like chasers, people who have done this. In 2017 was the most recent one here. I met um, at the gas station someone from Los Angeles. A lot of them were planning on going to Texas, and they have found their way here last minute. Yeah, we've talked to a lot of Mainers, too, and, you know, some of them looking for the party today. Others saying this is going to be a really spiritual event for them. So we've got a whole mix in this crowd. Yeah, and, and there are people where you just don't know exactly how it's going to be. I mean, I feel like everybody's talked about how this is this... Um, moment that you won't forget and you're just trying to project it. You watch these NASA projections, but obviously it's different. Right. And I think what's going to be interesting here, you talked about, I think you were thinking about wardrobe, but are we really going to drop 10 degrees? And I think yeah. in this setup where almost all of our warmth right now is coming from the sun, I do think it's going to be a drastic uh, weather weenie moment as well as, as temperatures drop uh, behind the eclipse. Good news is great forecast for Maine today. It's looking great. Yeah, let's let's roll ahead to some of these graphics here if we can. And the satellite picture is just pristine. You couldn't have drawn it up any better than this. Uh, there you go. Sky cover. High thin ones. Yeah, I mean, we've seen a few floating around, but overall we're in good shape temperatures in the 60s and it does project a totality temperature of 52. That's a 10 degree uh, drop there. A couple of high thin clouds moving through into the Holton area. Those have not been enough that I would consider to be an issue. Has some friends out in Kingfield, Carabas Valley show me those as well. But look at that. Basically, Burlington, Vermont East, we're in good shape and the temperatures are great. 57 in Holton here, 61 in Portland, 58 in Lewiston. So these are um, anomalous temperatures, anomalous sky cover all in a positive direction for once. Usually when we talk about anomalous in Maine, it's not necessarily for good reasons. Um, this small scale model keeps us clear right through the afternoon here into the early evening. I don't anticipate any problems. Again, just some high thin clouds rolling in. That'll be about it. And this was great timing because we did have some sun yesterday afternoon and we'll have some sun uh, tomorrow as well. But I do think this day is the most constant, basically start to finish sunny day here. It's so likely to be the warmest as temperatures tomorrow will generally be a little bit cooler than this. And our overall weather, weather pattern falls apart a little bit late in the week where we're going to have several days of rain or showers, variations of cloud cover and rain. So um, we did just kind of hit it dead on here. Um, and I don't see that changing. So that's Great. Yeah, that's great. great news. And we'll be here through the afternoon into the evening shows. We have coverage starting for you guys live on television and streaming starting at 2 o'clock, 2 to 4, and then we'll go into our normal newscast starting at 4. But we will show you all the total solar eclipse from our cameras if you weren't able to make it to Holton or Jackman or Rangeley or any of the places within totality. Yeah, and um, we'll probably meet a few more people that 2 to 4 uh, special or walking yeah. around there's some aliens walking around here <laughs> um so yeah it should be it should be a good time and again things just starting to fill in i think a little bit more in the last 20 30 minutes yeah definitely brian we'll see you soon